Okay, this video is going to be on the setup of the decimal format on the Sharp EL738 Business Financial Calculator. So the way I like to have it set up is I do like to display all the decimals that are actually significant after the decimal, all the digits that are significant after the decimal place, but no extra ones. So this is how it's set up right now. I'll just give you a demonstration. Uh, 3 divided by 2 equals 2. Obviously, that's not quite accurate. Uh, it has zero decimal places displaying right now, so it's actually 1.5 being rounded up to 2. I do not like this way. This is how it ended up uh, after changing the battery. The formatting was not good, and so I had to go and um, change it. So uh, I'm going to quickly show you the pa applicable pages on the instruction manual. This is the manual for the sharp same model and so you can just pause here and read that if you'd like uh, and i'll flip the page and this also uh, explains a bit about that as well so back to the calculator i'm just going to demonstrate how to do it the way that i would like to do it so set up and then this blinking dsp press zero for that and then tab is referring to the decimal formatting. Uh, if you go to zero here, um, it, which is how it's set now, then you get to choose the actual number of digits that will be displayed. And then it always displays that number, whether they're, they're significant or not. I do not like that way. One goes to scientific format, which I'm not doing for financial purposes, which I use this for doing financial calculations primarily uh, so for this one press 2 and that's done so if we go 7 divided by 3 equals it shows all the digits up until they run out of screen um, another example that 3 divided by 2 equals so it here it doesn't show any extra digits just the ones that are being used so that's the way I prefer doing it. So once again, uh, set up, then zero and two. That's the way I would do it. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.